I really do inhabit a world in which words are capable of shaking the entire structure of government, where words can prove mightier than 10 military divisions. Now, last November, I was in Cairo and Egyptian riot police, as you will see in the short intro about me in your books, beat me and broke my left arm and my right hand, but they also sexually assaulted me. And if anyone here follows me on Twitter, you will know that I live on Twitter. I'm a Twitterholic. And those 140 characters on Twitter really are and can be powerful. Because when I lost that phone and for the first three hours of my 12-hour detention, I felt completely lost. Nobody knew where I was and I didn't know if I would get out. Until an activist came into the interior ministry with a smartphone and when no one was paying attention, he got me onto Twitter and I was able to tweet, beaten, arrested, interior ministry. And the power of those words through the power of Twitter, through the power of the global community that pays attention to what is happening across the world was one of the many things that helped to get me out. And you rarely hear about the incredibly brave voices that for years have been fighting to create a space for alternative voices, to create a space for alternative voices that end up becoming the revolutionaries, that then end up sitting on the stage here. So there are so many different forms of revolution and so many different forms of courage that too often are silenced. التدوين ساعد بقوة ولأول مرة على خروج العديد من الأصوات المطالبة بالتغيير واللي قدمت نقد للعديد من الشخصيات والمؤسسات والهيئات داخل مصر ويمكن كريم عامر هو الاسم الأشهر في مجتمع التدوين المصري واللي دلوقتي بيقضي بسبب التدوين أربع سنوات سجن بتهمة إزدراء الأديان وإهانة شخص الرئيس It was a, a 28-year-old businessman in Alexandria, Khalid Saeed who was beaten to death by two cops Gonim uh, started this Facebook page saying, hey, we are all uh, Khalid Saeed. I blew up to over 400,000 people on that page. And that was where everybody started to gather and organize for the protest. But all of a sudden, thousands of people started showing up. And that's the power of the internet. But two days after the protests start, the Egyptian government realizes he started up that uh, Facebook page. They snatch him. Total illegal kidnapping. Finally, they let him out. And when they let him out, people were so relieved because they, uh, for most of that time, people had no idea what happened to him. They don't know if he died. They don't know what happened, right? God knows what the police could have done to him. 